All right, this is an interesting and unique service call, but it goes to show that you always, always, always must be on your A game. You know what? Whether it's a little broken little wire or a blown fuse or something disconnected, always be a professional, explain, and then show what's going on because you never know if it could be a setup or not. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Stay tuned, thumbs up, thank you. All right, at my next service call. Oh, I came out here. I'm looking for the condenser and I'm like, where is it? Oh, there it is. There's the line set. She's saying that the she's saying that the unit is not coming on. The outdoor unit isn't coming on. I've got this wiring. It's all frayed. It's all frayed. Missing all the insulation. But if the indoor fan is blowing, sippy cup, then we didn't blow the fuse yet. Yeah. Yet. Let's see if we hear the contactor pulled in, which we don't. And look, we keep following the wire here. Somewhere along the way, this is a pressure switch, which there, which there is right down there. All right, let's get the drill with the quarter inch driver on it. Let's take a peek inside. You know, the, the, the control wire is very, very bad shape, right. which is that white wire yeah. that runs along the line set. Yeah. All of the, well, most of the outer insulation is gone. And that's a short waiting to happen. Yeah, how, how do you fix that? Just Replace the head. wire, yeah. Yeah, Did I wish. What's causing the problem? No, not yet. Not yet. Let's take a peek inside. Let's take a look at this. So, here, let's just push this up. There was a wire connected there at one point. See? So there's black and red, but nothing's connected to red. Why is nothing connected to red? I don't even see the wire here. It's missing. Look. Why is it missing? There's one. The other one's gone. Wiring is missing here. Really? Yes, yeah, seriously. Someone went there, so I don't know. Someone did. The wire is physically gone. So here is. I hear you, but someone was in here. Here is the control wiring, right, which comes from the thermostat, and it connects to one wire here. And the other wire is, looks like someone broke it off. Looks like it's cut off right there. And this would normally go to that right there, but it's not. Someone stole the wire or someone sabotaged the system. Or this is one of those consumer affairs, like, are you legit or not? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 so, I, I don't imagine that anyone came back here. So someone did something. It's possible to run without that connected. It is not possible to run without that connected. You need 24 volt signal to pull in the contactor. So that now we're going to see so if there's 24 weird. volts there. Could it be that someone just pulled it from here and maybe mm -hmm. just pulled out the next No, because this is actually cut. Oh. That is cut right there. And it went another wire connected. Let's just double check. Yeah, no, it's gone. And if we look at the schematic as well, we will see. There's L1. Where is thermostat? There's C, which goes right to. Damn, Siri, go away. C goes right to contactor. And Y goes through pressure switches, which then goes to contactor. All right, here, give me that. Let's see if we have 24 volts. Hold that. Can we get the needle nose? Okay. Let's just recut 
that there. Let me get that. Big Ben's 24 volt sippy cup. I don't know. Without the wire? Yeah, we do. Look at that. 27 volts. So we have signal for it to turn on, but it's not going to turn on because the wire is missing. So let's take this wire. Let me get two Wagos. Two two wire Wagos. Hold, you hold it. Two wire. That's three. That's two. How many? One. I need two of them. One more. Just leave it there. And that's, we'll go there. Now we need to cut a piece of wire and connect that. And it should fire as long as there's a refrigerant in the system. Do your job. I have the second. What? There you go. I have the second way go in my hand. Good. We're going to need it. Let's take crypt this wire on there, like that, and let's cut this end off right here. And we're going to take the wiggle you have in your hand and put this on here. One end goes to the contactor, which was right there. Look, actually, no, look, actually, there it is. It's still there. Someone ripped it off. There it is. That looks broken, cut off, and we already saw the other one. But someone came in here and did that. Who and why? I don't know. But at least we're being honest. We're doing our job the right way. We're going to connect this and we'll hear the contact to close as long as there's a refrigerant in the system. And there is. Contact is closed. As soon as we apply power by plugging back in the disconnect, the unit, the unit will fire up. So let's put the cover back on. Everything else looks okay. Good, good, good. All right. Someone stole the wire. Interesting service call, no, Sippy? Very interesting. Like, the case of what happened to the wire. I thought she was gonna like, I thought she was like holding back like some weird information, like somebody, like she did something to somebody and like they're getting back at her, like, I don't know, it just seemed very suspicious. I don't know, either that, Someone was Why would somebody just randomly do that to her? Yeah, like, someone's messing with her, right? So messing someone's with messing with her, or, uh, that was a su such a, a, a setup call, like one of those. No, no, no. There are setup calls. Like consumer really? affairs, yeah. Especially well, in New York City. Now, uh, New York City runs like sting operations where they call out, you know, contractors, and they see if they do the job right or not. Also, there's like news media's that do it as well. But normally, at this point, they would have told us that there were, you know, a channel like a. There were, she would have said by like now. Inside Edition. She, we would have known at you know, yeah. right now as we left that hey, yeah. you know, you, you know, you we're, we're catching. We pass the test basically, but. Because there are contractors out there that will literally like rip them off completely. Like, yeah. oh, your compressor's shot, da, 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 you know, or the capacitor is no good, you know, or the contact is bad, but it was very visible. As soon as we took that cover off, I'm looking like, huh? I thought the wire was going to be hidden somewhere. Like, it just fell off and, like, it's, you know, because it happens. Things get loosened up, right? But that it wasn't the case. <laughs> it literally was gone. The wire was, you know, cut off of the. You know, that spade connector was cut off the uh, the contact. It's so weird. Crazy, Who very crazy. Just that? I don't know. But someone had to go inside there with a quarter inch driver. Why do you open the window if I have the air conditioning on? Because there's a fly. Because there's a fly. Look at you, you're such a effing baby. Close the effing windows. I don't want to get eaten by a fly. By a fly. You're scared of a fly? Come yes. on. Jesus Christ. Thank God you guys voted go because he's done. He's done. And I think you're really gonna like the new guy. Well, you're not. Yes, you are. The community's gonna love him. He's a young kid. 
early 20s. He has air balancing experience, professional air balancing. It's air, air balancing. Yeah, it's hard to explain. I, I don't want to waste have my breath. Have we done that or no? I've done it. You haven't. Uh, we haven't. I don't yeah. want to waste my breath explaining to you, but whatever. And he's got several years of HVAC service experience working for a local, uh, another local contractor. So it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to welcoming him aboard. Again, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but again, he's still got to show up. Hopefully he does, you know, we'll see. All right, guys, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comments section down below on what you think this was. Was it someone messing with her? Or this was a sting operation and they wanted to see if I was doing the right thing. Consumer Affairs is not going to tell me, you know, right then and there. You know, they'll go through the whole procedure, the whole service call procedure. You know, I'll, you know, the invoicing, like, you know, what the bill is, da, 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 da. They want to see, make sure I'm not price gouging, make sure I didn't charge for things I shouldn't be charging for or didn't let her know about. The customer already knew that she's paying for a one hour minimum. That's our service call charge. You know, one hour is the minimum. She knows what the rate is, and I charge her absolutely nothing for parts. If I was going to, um, you know, the consumer protection laws of New York City and New York, I have to disclose what the parts are before actually doing the work or before actually trying to give them a bill. I can't do the work and then give them a bill and say, hey, you owe me $5,000 when they thought it was going to be $200 or whatever, you know? So let me get your thoughts and feedback. And of course, if you would like an official and brand new Flex Fit Pipe Doctor hat, it's embroidered, by the way. Details in the description box down below. I got pens, stickers, and shirts at large and extra large available. All donations are appreciated. And there's again details in the description box down below. And him, he's for sale too. You know, if you guys want to buy him, you know, uh, human trafficking, um, feel free to take him too. I'm sure his parents won't mind. <laughs>